Hello friends, welcome. My name is Sarveshwar. In this video, you try to understand the difference between correlation and conjugation. These two things are, you know, friends, generally confuses us. How? Whenever we say the series are co-integrated or we say the series are correlated, we say like we think like we are saying the same thing, but they are different. Two series are co-integrated doesn't mean they are correlated as well. And opposite is also true. Based on co-integration properties of two series, we cannot say anything about correlation. So this is something I want to say friends. These two things, these two techniques are completely different. Now, uh, in this blog, I have shown the differences. I would try to explain them. You can go and see also on my blog also. The first thing is, uh, when you talk about the correlation, it's, it is about linear association between two series. And when we talk about the co-integration, it's like it's, there is a linear combination of both the series, uh, which is stationary, means the spread of these two things, like difference between these two series is stationary over the time. This is the concept, friends. And I would discuss it in detail by simulation as well in my next video uh, using R uh, Studio. So here are some simple differences which can be used to differentiate between these concepts. The first one is number of time series. When we talk about the correlation, it is always only two variables we can analyze to see their correlation or not. But when we talk about co-integration, it could be two or any number of series. At least we need two for co-integration purpose, but it could be three, four or n number of series we could have in our analysis. Okay, friends. The second thing is understanding the stationarity concept. When you talk about the stationarity means the mean, variance, covariance is stationary over the time. Okay, friends. So in order to analyze this co uh, correlation thing, we don't need to understand this concept. But in order to examine the co-integration property between two or more series, we need to have the series, those are having the similar uh, integration properties all of them should be I1 like this uh, I don't want to go in detail but we need to understand that concept as well third thing is uh, how can we measure it the co-integration cannot be measured actually we can say are they co-integrated or not we cannot say the range like the correlation it varies from minus 1 to positive 1 there is certain boundaries it cannot go beyond positive 1 it cannot be like less than minus 1 there is a range for uh, correlation. It could be positive, it could be negative. But it's not like co-integration. Co-integration says there is certain linear combination which is stationary over the time. That's all. Fourth thing is horizon, the period of our interest. When we say about correlation, it could be short term, it could be for long term. But co-integration is something that is used for long run only. The fifth when we talk about the number of observation minimum we require for such analysis. For correlation analysis, there is no restriction. We can have 5, 10 numbers. But for co-integration, as I have seen in some research papers, we need at least 20 or 30 observation to examine the co-integration property of time series. And the sixth one is time series method or not. Correlation is not a time series method. It's like we are using this property of correlation between some collection of variables. We are having certain observation. They could be cross-sectional, they could be time series, anything. But when we talk about co-integration, it's always about time series. We need to have two or more time series to examine the co-integration between them. And the last but not the least, level of analysis. When we talk about the financial series, friends, we talk about the correlation between the prices. Oh, sorry, the returns of the uh, prices, not prices. Uh, suppose we are having the prices of sport and futures market. We don't talk about the correlation between the prices at level. We talk about their first differences. Those are returns. What is the correlation between them? But when we talk about are sport and futures prices co-integrated or not, for that purpose, we need to understand this property at level, at prices, log prices, uh, but not their returns. Okay, friends. So these are the main differences uh, between uh, co-integrated or correlation property of uh, two time series. They seem similar, but they are not actually. They are completely different things. Okay, friends. So this is my try. In next video, I would show how to differentiate and how to generate co-integrated series or how can we uh, learn the 
nuances of these things. Thanks friends, keep watching.